So you want to print large models on your regular size 3D printer. To do this you need to cut your model into separate pieces that will match each other perfectly. It's possible and it's quite simple, so let me guide you through this process. First of all you will need to have Blender installed. It is a free software and you can download it from the link I put in the description. Once you have Blender downloaded and installed, open it and here is where the fun begins. Select everything in your scene and click delete. We won't need it for now. Now go to edit, preferences and select add-ons in the menu on the left. Use the search option and type in bool. The bool tool add-on will appear and to turn it on simply click on the little square next to its name. Now save the preferences just like I did and we can start working on our model. To begin with you need to import your model. Go to File, Import and pick the right extension for your case. Most of models available online are saved in STL file and that's what I'm going to work with. Select your file and click Import STL. I am using a free model available online but you can use whatever model you want to build. Now when your model has been imported, select it and press M to see the properties. If you want to change its scale, use the S key to scale it up or down while reading the dimensions to navigate its size. As you can see my submarine is around 70 cm long, so there is no way I can print it as a whole. So to build it, I must cut it into separate pieces. To do this, click Shift A to create a new mesh and pick the cube from the menu. Select it right away and in dimensions type in the exact values of your printing bed size. I use Creality Free version 2, so I will make the cube 23 cm wide and long and 25 cm high. Ok, so the cube just became a representation of your printing volume and it will help us determine how many parts do you need. To move the cube press G and then follow with X, Y or Z to determine which axis you want to move it along. Select the cube and move it so it covers one of the ends of your model. Now we need to copy the cube using Shift D and choosing the axis. It is very important to type in the values that matches the length of your cube. For example, my cube is 23 cm long, so I am typing 0.23 meter. Enter. The cubes are now located side to side with no gap in between, and it is very important to keep them like that. Repeat the step until whole model is covered by the cubes. In my case, three cubes are enough, and that means I will need to divide my model into three different parts. Now select everything by clicking A and with Shift D copy it the exact same amount of times as you copied your cube. I have 3 cubes so I will need 3 setups like this, but if you have for example 5 cubes you need to have 5 setups and so on. Let's deal with the first setup. Select the cube on the side and delete it. Now using Shift select the remaining cubes and at the very end select the model. Press Ctrl Shift B and from the popping up menu select Difference. Now all is left is just one part that will fit your bed perfectly. Sometimes there may be some leftovers and to get rid of them, select the part, click Tab to go to Edit Mode, now select any point or edge belonging to your model and press Ctrl L. This is gonna highlight just the useful part. Now click Ctrl I to invert the selection and now all the garbage is selected, so you can press delete to get rid of it. Ok, so that is the whole process, now repeat it for the other setups. Delete the second cube, select remaining cubes with Shift and the model at the very end, Ctrl Shift B, difference, voila. Once you do this with every setup, you will be left with the matching parts that will fit your printer perfectly. To export them, select one part, go to File, Export, STL. Make sure to check the Selection Only box. Open your file with the slicer of your choice and go and build your model. With this technique you can build literally anything and your printer size will not limit you anymore. If this video helped you, consider hitting the like button and I will be extremely happy if you also decide to subscribe. Cheers and see you next time.